Now we'll be looking at how to find the imaginary part of an analytic function when the real part is given or how to find the real part of an analytic function when imaginary part is given. Before that, please like, share and subscribe this particular channel and click on bell icon to get a new notification. Let us start now. Now come to the procedure to find the u which is a function of x and y. If v is given, is a function of x and y or vice versa. It's nothing but if u has been given, how to find the value of b. If v is given, how to find the value of an a u. The first basic thing that you have to remember is nothing but if you consider a function f of z is equal to g of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y and it is an analytic function okay now we know that this is nothing but a real and this is nothing but an imaginary right if a real has been given how to find the imaginary and if imaginary has been given how to find the real part of an analytic function for this one we have to know the cr equation it is nothing but a condition to say that the function is an analytic or not okay the conditions are given as when you differentiate u with respect to x it should be equal to dv by dy right and when you differentiate u with respect to y it should be equal to minus of when you differentiate dv by dx it is nothing but see a equation right Cartier Raman equation when this particular equation is satisfied then we can say that f of z is an analytic function which has real plus imagined numbers now we have to find the imagined number when real number is given or real number when imagined number is given so we consider the case one okay it's nothing but if a real value is given like u of x comma y is given okay and we have to find the imaginary v of x comma y how to find it out for this one we are just following the steps come to step one okay it's nothing but we do differentiating v dv which is equal to dv by dx into dx plus dv by dy into dy right Step 2. Step 2 what do we do is nothing but we will be using the CR equation. Okay. Such so that we can substitute dv by dx as nothing but dv by dy. But minus comes into picture. Right. So it becomes nothing but dv is equal to minus of du by dy into dx plus dv by dy is nothing but du by dx. So it becomes du by dx into dy right we know the u values u values are given so we can directly differentiate it now come into step 3 there's nothing but we'll be integrating dv when you integrate dv we get an v value right so v is equal to nothing but integration of we know the dv value is nothing but this one and this one right if you consider this one as an m and this one is an n okay it's nothing but integration of m into dx plus integration of n such that okay it should not contain okay should not contain x into dy when you do it then you get an a v value it's an imaginary part so we have learned how to find the imaginary part when the real part has been given right now coming to the case 2 it is nothing but if an imaginary number v of x comma y is given okay then we have to find the real u of x comma y how to find it out okay then the same step step 1 what you do is nothing but differentiate u then we get du is equal to du by dx into dx plus du by dy into dy right so come to step 2 
Step two, what you do is nothing but v by d replacing the du by dx and du by dy with respect to CR equation, right? We know here, so it becomes du is equal to number du by dx is number dv by dy. So it becomes dv by dy into dx plus du by dy is equal to number minus of dv by dx. So it becomes minus dv by dx into dy. Now v values are already given, so we can directly differentiate it. Come to step three. What you do is nothing but integrate du, then you get u value. So we'll be integrating the terms also. So u is equal to nothing but integration of. If you consider this term as an m and this particular term as an n, then becomes integration of m into dx plus integration of n, such that it should not contain. Should not contain x into dy okay then we get an a u value now in the case two it's nothing but we define the real value when imaginary part has been given now come into the procedure to find the u value if v is given okay and find the v value if u is given okay now i just noted on the points first one would be looking that if real part of an analytic function is given okay u then we have to find the v value as we know that function f of z is not but u plus i v u is an i real part and v is an imaginary part step one we are differentiating v with respect to x and y and when we multiplying with an x and y such that you get an a v value come to step two is nothing but we are using a cauchy riemann equation so substitute the values dv by dx and dv by dy then the it becomes nothing but minus du by dy and du by dx now if you consider this term as m and this term as an n is nothing but dv right now step 3 what we do is nothing but integrating dv then we get v value which is equal to integration of m into dx plus integration of n such that it would not contain x value plus c now come into case 2 if imaginary part of an analytic function is given like v then how to find the value of an a u as we know that f is nothing but function of real plus imaginary numbers right step one what you do is nothing but du which is equal to du by dx into dx plus du by dy into dy we are just differentiating with dx and dy and only multiplying with x and dx and dy step one we do it in step two what you do is nothing but use the cr equation form cauchy riemann equation and we will be replacing du by dx with a dv by dy and du by dy is equal to minus dv by dx right if you consider this term as m and this term as an n then step 3 what we do is nothing but u is equal to nothing but integration of m into dx plus integration of terms does not contain x in n with respect to y plus c then we get an a nothing but an a real part of an a function i've just noted down this particular point to remember you now come to the question okay for example okay if you consider that real part of an analytic function okay f of z z is equal to x plus i y is given by e by minus j cos x the imaginary part of it is okay so we know that f of z is equal to nothing but u plus i u is nothing but a real part and v is nothing but an imaginary part now they are given the u value u is equal to nothing but e power minus y cos x has been given right now you have to find the v value is how much right so you are following the steps come to step one what we do we will be differentiating v value so it becomes dv is equal to dv by dx into dx plus dv by dy into dy right now in the step two what we do is nothing but use the cr equation right so it becomes nothing but dv is equal to dv by dx is nothing but minus du by dy into dx plus dv by dy is nothing but du by 
dx into dy right so we're defining this particular terms we know the u value so first we're defining the value of du by dx which is equal to nothing but so we're just differentiating the constant so it becomes minus e power minus y sin x right then du by dy which is equal to nothing but we're differentiating e power minus y so it becomes minus e power minus y cos x so we'll be substituting this particular values here then we get dv is equal to minus minus of e power minus y cos x dx plus it is minus e power minus y sin x dy right in the step three what we do will be integrating it right so integration of dv is not what b which is equal to integration of e power minus y cos x dx minus minus goes right and it becomes minus integration of e power minus y sin x dy right but we should not contain the x terms so this one goes cancel then v is equal to nothing but integration of this particular term so it becomes e power minus y cos is nothing but sin x so imaginary part is nothing but e power minus y sin x it goes with the option b now come to the next question the question is the imaginary part of an analytic function f of z is equal to x plus i y is given by x square minus y square plus x by x square plus y square the real part is the same type of question but you define the real part right you know that f of z is equal to u plus iv right u is nothing but an real part and v is nothing but an imaginary part right now they are given the imaginary part so v is equal to nothing but given as x square minus y square plus x by x square plus y square and we have to find the value of u as how much right real part so we'll be following the steps come to step one step one is nothing but we'll be differentiating the u value with respect to x and y so it becomes du by dx into dx plus du by dy into dy right now going to step two step two is nothing but we'll be using the cr equation right and we'll be replacing the du by dx and du by dy and you get du is equal to du by dx is nothing but dv by dy into dx plus du by dy is nothing but minus of dv by dx into dy so we have to find the du by dx and du by dy first we are defining the value of dv by dx which is equal to nothing but become just differentiate this one it becomes 2x this is 0 plus this is nothing but x square plus y square minus x into 2x right divided by x square plus y square whole square which is equal to nothing but it becomes 2x plus this is y square minus x square divided by x square plus y square whole square right now we defining the value of dv by dy dv by dy which is equal to nothing but this one is nothing but minus 2 it is plus x into minus 2y by x square plus y square whole square right now we'll be writing the terms let's give us du is equal to nothing but dv by dy it is nothing but minus 2y minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square into dx and it is minus and dv by dx is nothing but it becomes 2x plus 
y square minus x square by x square plus y square whole square into d y right now we will be going into the step 3 step 3 we will be doing integration right so just integrating this one this one and this one you can say this is an m term this is an n term now n term should not contain a x terms right should not contain now this one this one get cancelled right so u is equal to nothing but this one doing the integration of minus 2y minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square integration with respect to dx right now it becomes nothing but first term minus 2xy now come down next term there's nothing but as we know that when you differentiate d by dx of 1 by x square plus y square when you differentiate it it becomes minus 2x by x square plus y square whole square right so when you integrate it it is equal to nothing but 1 by x square plus y square only yes or no? but we don't want this particular minus 2 so it goes down here 1 by minus 2 right so it becomes nothing but minus of 2y into 1 by minus 2 into 1 by x square plus y square right minus minus get cancelled 2 to get cancelled so we get u is equal to nothing but minus 2xy plus y by x square plus y square this is another real part so this is a method to find the real part from the imaginary part